morning. Come on. Our mics are on. Design. Uh, we have uh, uh, a USB, like a USB like, too. We, we can get a few of them. It's like two a long time. Coming out of them and everything. You know what? Pete had a fight is off there? the wall um, and broke his knuckle in his right hand. And Oh, you know what? I just need to turn it. Uh, yeah, outside. Is it booting up? Because I don't have anything at all. Oh. I don't see my Outlook on here anymore either. Oh, uh, um, public public areas, like out in the foyer and stairwells and stuff. But when you're in your kind of office space, it's your fault.
think I'm ready to go. Folks ready to start? Anybody not ready to start? Nope. Good, go. All right, clerks, I'm going to get the boat off the shore. Uh, good morning and welcome to uh, Vancouver City Council meeting of Tuesday, October 5th, uh, 2021. First week no people and we thank them for the generosity uh, to all who live, work and play on their land and uh, as we work in partnership building this great city together. <clears throat> I also want to take a moment to recognize the immense contributions of the Vancouver City of Vancouver staff who have reconfigured this chamber as we all reconfigure our lives. So thank you so much for all the hard work you're putting in to the city. And can we have the roll call, please? Mayor Stewart in the chair, Councillor Carr. Councillor DiGenova. Councillor Fry is absent. Councillor Swanson. Councillor Hardwick. Councillor Weave. Present. Councillor Boyle. <coughs> Councillor Dominato. Present. Councillor Bly. And Councillor Kirby Young. You have core Mayor Stewart. Thanks very much. Um, I'm going to start the, uh, the council on a bit of a somber note, uh, uh, recognizing the passing of uh, Mayor Philip Owen. Um, so uh, I'd like to offer my sincere condolences to the family and friends of former Vancouver Mayor Philip Owen on behalf of Vancouver City Council, the City of Vancouver, and the entire community. A gentle, decent man, Philip Owen's time as mayor will be remembered for his courage and foresight. His work on the Four Pillars approach led to the establishment of North America's first supervised injection site and helped save thousands of lives. Though a challenging idea at the time, Mayor Owen learned from talking with those living with addiction that harm reduction was the only way to address the overdose crisis of the mid-1990s and early 2000s. He worked side by side with grassroots downtown Eastside leaders to push for change, which led to the historic Vancouver Agreement between the city, province, and federal government. Those among his many accomplishments in his long service to this city. We wouldn't be taking these necessary next steps today on safe supply, decriminalization, expanded treatment, and enhanced support for those facing mental health and addiction challenges if it were not for Philip Owen's leadership. And I know we all know that he'll be sorely missed. So if I could ask council to uh, just take a moment of silence to think about uh, Philip Owen's service to the community, that would be greatly appreciated. Council. I'm going to go through the plan for the day in this, uh, this day of the special council meeting, which is uh, different than our normal agenda. So uh, different because we're here in person uh, for the first time in a long time uh, all together, except uh, Councillor Fry, who's uh, absent for personal reasons. Uh, today, we'll go through the adoption of minutes, uh, deal with the communication. We have six bylaws. We have notice of council members' motions, new business inquiries, and other matters adjournment and then at 11 a.m. a special council meeting will convene for the purposes of dealing with 11, item of, 11 items of business. <clears throat> so um, pursuant to section 164 uh, 1 bracket 2 of the Vancouver Charter, public notice is hereby given the council will give consideration to amend procedure bylaw number 12577 at the council meeting on October 19th, 2021. Uh, we are also required to meet uh, in camera later this week. Uh, the reasons and authority under the Vancouver Charter are listed in the agenda. Could I have someone move a motion to go in camera? I think so. Councillor Dejanova, seconded by Councillor Hardwick. Thanks very much. Uh, all in favour? Aye. Opposed? Thanks. Just in terms of uh, moving and stuff, uh, don't need mics on. I, c I just need to be able to hear you. Okay, so we'll go through minutes. Uh, we have four, uh, four sets of minutes. Um, minutes one are the minutes of the Auditor General Committee meeting of September 17th. Any corrections? Way easier one, I can see it. Nope, no corrections. Uh, someone like to move adoption. I see Councillor Bly, seconded by Councillor Hardwick. Thanks very much. Uh, all those in favor say yay. Opposed nay. No objections, so that's passed unanimously. Thank you. Minutes two are the minutes of the council meeting of September 21st. Any corrections? 
don't see any. I have a mover. Councilor Kirby Young, seconder. Councilor Block, uh, Councilor Boyle. Thank you. Uh, all those in favor, yay. Opposed, nay. Thanks. No objections. That's passed unanimously. Thanks. Uh, minutes three of the minutes of the public hearing of September 21st and 23rd, 2021. Any corrections? See any? Uh, mover, please. Councillor Hardwick, uh, seconded by Councillor Dominato. All in favor, say yay. Opposed, nay. Great. That's uh, passed unanimously. Thank you. Minutes four, the minutes of the council meeting following the Standing Committee on Policy and Strategic Priorities meeting of September 22nd. Any corrections? Over to Councillor Carr, thank you. Second, Councillor Dominato. All in favor, yay. Opposed, nay. Hear no nays, so that is passed unanimously. <clears throat> we have one uh, communication to consider today. Please note the recommendations in the communication were revised and sent to Council yesterday, a copy of which is also on Councillor's desks. Uh, if anybody would like to discuss this, uh, please put yourself on the queue. See anybody on the queue? Someone like to move the motion. Councillor Bly, second Councillor Dejanova. Thank you. Any discussion? Don't see any? Um, all in favor? Yay. Opposed? Nay. That's passed. Thanks very much. Okay, we have six bylaws in the agenda for consideration. Uh, council members who are not present for the meeting related to the public hearing enactment of uh, bylaws. <clears throat> must confirm that they have reviewed the proceedings of the meetings if they wish to vote on the enactment. Bylaw 2 is from a public hearing on December 6, uh, 2017. Most councillors needed to review the proceedings at the council meeting on September 21st. At that meeting, several council members noted they had reviewed the proceedings. However, council did not have enough members eligible to vote at that time. So when I call your name, please advise if you have reviewed uh, the proceedings and will be voting on the enactment. Uh, Councillor Bly. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Dejanova. Thank you. Councillor Hardwick. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Kirby Young. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Swanson. Nope. Uh, Councillor Weep. Have any will. Thank you. Okay. Bylaw 3 is from a public. Uh, does clerks get all that? Okay, thanks. Public, uh, bylaw 3 is from a public hearing on March 9th. Councillor Bly was absent from the um, item at the public hearing. Councillor Bly, have you reviewed the proceedings and will you be voting? Thanks very much. Any members wish to hold any of the bylaws for debate, separate vote, or for conflict of interest? And if you could put yourself on the queue to hold any of these. <clears throat> Don't see anybody on the queue. So would someone like to move the motion adopting bylaws one to six? Okay, first I ask Councillor Dominato, seconded by Councillor Bly, thank you. Um, I'll call a verbal vote. All in favor say yay. Opposed say nay. That passed, thanks very much. Uh, the list of approved bylaws can be found on the city's website. Okay, now we have notice of council members' motions. Uh, if you'd like to put yourself on the queue if you wanted to give Notice of motion, Councillor Dejanova. Just uh, just before you go, uh, just a reminder that you uh, state the title and the date of the council meeting on which you intend to move the motion, Councillor Dejanova. Thank you. Could I ask a, a point of information as I pull my calendar up? The the meeting, the next regular council meeting would be October the nineteenth. Check with the clerks. It is. Thank you. And we're in council. So we are. Stand. That's right. My apologies. We're good. Uh, I'd like to call notice on a motion uh, titled Honoring the Life and Legacy of Former Mayor Philip Owen. Thank you. Uh, we've got uh, Councillor Swanson next. Yes, uh, I have a motion for October 19th called Increasing Public Participation at City Council by Providing Earlier Access to Agendas and Reports. Okay. And this is, uh, remember, just email in that. And what is the date? Uh, October 19th. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, I'm also giving notice of motion uh, for the October 19th meeting. Uh, it's called uh, Making Home Colon Housing for All of Us. I'll send that into the clerks. Great, thanks very much. I don't see anybody else in the queue for notice of members' motions. Uh, we'll go on to new business, uh, new business and inquiries first. 
and then we'll move on to other matters. Councillor Weeb. Um, yes, I'd like to, we have a beautiful award that the City of Vancouver has just received to be a bird-friendly city. Um, and I want to thank David Bradley from Birds Canada, who's the chair of the Vancouver Birds Advisory Committee, the Honorable John from Wilkinson, former Minister of Environment and Climate Change, and Graham Stahl from Nature's Canada. We were the first city to create a bird strategy, the first city to do bird design guidelines, and now one of four cities, along with Toronto, London, and Calgary, to be a bird-friendly city. This is just the start of a lot of work. A lot of birds have in the sixth extinction that we're in right now in the ecosystem work that we're doing right now is so important to the city of Vancouver. So hopefully we can put this up with our official bird, Anna's Hummingbird, in City Hall to recognize the great work of our city. And want to thank Krista Toth and all the Vancouver Park Board for the amazing work they've done to put bird dots to make facilities in Vancouver more bird friendly. Thank you. Thanks, Councillor Weep. Don't want to take a cheap shot here. Uh, sure. But uh, this is uh, this so this is new business and inquiries. Uh, that would be other matters. So uh, it's okay though. Uh, I think it's such a good announcement. We can let that one slide. Anybody else with uh, Councilor Bajano? Do you have new business or inquiries? I I understood this would be the time to share a tribute. To yeah, that would be other matters. I'm just checking oh. to see if we get through the new business and other and then. My I'll, apologies. I'll take no, no, no problem. Thank you. Anybody else with new business or uh, I'll just, Councillor Kirby Young, you also other matters? New business, okay, go ahead please. Yeah, thanks Mary. I had submitted a um, request for leave of absence and I don't know if the, I thought the clerk had sent it in. I believe it's for Wednesday from 8 p.m. Did I miss those? Wednesday, October 6th. You know what, I missed that in the script. Uh, so I will go back to that and if I miss it, allow you okay. time to, to add yours if it's not in the script. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Uh, Councillor Dejanova, do you have you want for other matters? Okay. Council, I'm just going to read the rest of my script before we get to uh, other matters with Councillor Dejanova. So we have a number of leaves of absence requests. Um, first for Councillor Fry, specific business for meetings on November 3rd from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, and I actually need, we need to move these one at a time. So I have a mover for that motion. Thank you. Uh, I see Councillor Weeb and seconded by Councillor Dominato. Uh, all in favor, yay. Opposed, nay. That's passed, thanks. Request for leave of absence for myself for civic business for meetings on October 12th to 15th and on Thursday, October 7th from 3 to 6. Thank you, Councillor Dejanova. Do you have a seconder? Councillor Dominato, thank you. All in favor, yay. Yay. Opposed, nay. That's passed, thanks. Request for leave of absence for Councillor Kirby Young for civic business for meetings on October 7th from 3 to 6 and for meetings on October 6th from 8 to 10 p.m. for personal reasons. Someone like to move this? Councillor Dejanova, yes. Thank you, Councillor Dominato. All in favor, yay. Opposed, nay. Thank you. <clears throat> Request for leave of absence from Councillor Weeb from for civic business for meetings on October 6th from 10 a.m. to uh, 12 p.m. We have a mover. Councillor Hardwick, Councillor Boyle, seconded. All in favor, yay. Opposed, nay. That's passed, thanks very much. Okay. So I'm sorry, but now we're on to, I have Councillor uh, Councilor Kirby Young, do you have any new business or other matters? No, thank you. Okay, thanks. And we have uh, Councillor Dejanova. Please go ahead up to five minutes. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna, I will be brief because if not, I probably will end up in tears. Um, I wanted to extend my own condolences to uh, former Mayor Philip Owen and his, uh, on, on the passing of former Mayor Philip Owen to his family. Um, especially to his wife, Rita, and his children. Uh, I knew Philip very well uh, since, since I was a little girl, and he was someone who was a giant. He was compassionate, and his leadership went beyond being brave beyond the four pillars approach and bringing that forward, it wasn't just emotion, it wasn't just something he did here. He took the time, he went to Europe, he researched that. And when I was in high school and when I was in university, whenever I wanted <laughs> to know a little bit more about something that I'd read in the paper, something that I was writing on for a paper, um, or even uh, walk through the downtown east side and understand his vision for our city, he was generous with his time. And it wasn't just to me, it was anyone who called him, who uh, sent him a letter, who knocked on his door. 
I've heard stories from many people, people who said that they had a connection with him, that they weren't famous, that they weren't known, and that he would make time to visit them. And these are some of our, our city's most vulnerable and marginalized people. Uh, his leadership and the way he's been described by so many, and I appreciate the mayor's condolences, uh, but he was a true gentleman, he was a real leader, and he had what it takes uh, to bring people with him, and he led in a way that other people um, were inspired to follow. So I just wanted to take that moment to share uh, my personal condolences with his family. Uh, it's a huge loss for our city, and he certainly has made our city better. Thank you very much. Thank you, Councillor. Anyone else for items on this part of the agenda? Don't see any. Motion to adjourn. Councillor Hardwick, a seconder, Councillor Bly. Thanks very much. All in favor? Any opposed? Thanks so much. Okay, so this meeting is adjourned and I'm going to look to the clerks now. So we're going to reconvene at 11 a.m. Uh, either here in chambers. We're going to meet at 11 a.m. in the special council meeting that we've just called. Uh, you can either meet electronically or remotely or here in the council chambers, so the hybrid version. Uh, but we have 11 o'clock will be the, the time that that meeting starts. Very good? Okay, thank you. Thanks, clerks. <laughs>